I recently learned of a guy by the name of Ron Finley. First, I followed him on Instagram, then I took his master class. I actually got a chance to meet him recently, and he taught me that when it comes to gardening, sometimes we try a bit too hard to get it just right. His attitude is let Mother Nature take the wheel. Give me that broccoli. Give me that kale. <laughs> Ron Finley calls himself the gangster gardener. We have some ginger growing back here. But his commitment to growing healthy food goes way past a catchy nickname. How far past? Ron Finley turned his swimming pool into a garden oasis. And his message is catching on. What do you think it is about this time that's had everybody turning to the earth in yeah, a way? I think it's one word, value. People really see what truly has value because what we've been taught has value. You can't eat diamonds. <laughs> you sure can. You know, especially in a pandemic. This is an opportunity, I think, for families to be doing some things in their gardens. Give, give some ideas, because I think we all think we should have a space like this. I don't have an old pool I can turn into a, an Eden. What can I do if I've got a little space at home? A girlfriend of mine told me, with all the stuff I've done, the only thing I'm going to be known for the rest of my life is the dresser drawer. I'm going to show you how to take this old dresser drawer and turn it into a garden. If I tell you how many people contacted me and they were out on the street getting dresser drawers <laughs> and oh my God, it was so crazy. They would send pictures on Facebook and Instagram of them doing their dresser That's drawers. That's amazing. So, but you don't need a big space. I mean, look at this box here. Everything that's in here, you know, from, from sunflowers to calla lilies to um, eggplant to blueberries to peppers to sugar cane. You got sugar cane growing in there. I that have. Part. Ron's master class and social media channels can help you grow your own food anywhere. Seriously, anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> One key, don't overthink it. Just get to it. The key is getting the right soil, and I can grow pretty much anything. Anything. Next tip, buy a bag of soil, because you never know what toxins are in the ground. I got a bag of soil. Okay. I can cut the bag of soil and put my plants in it. And it'll grow. Things it'll will grow. grow. It's good. I can, I can pile a, a soil on a, on the concrete. That tree Pretty over small. there is a nectarine that's growing in 18 inches of soil on top of concrete. And if I tell you how prolific it is, it's unreal. Why is that? Because is it because you've got the magic touch? No, because you're working with certain elements. You're working with soil. You're working with a seed. Everything starts from a seed, yes. even you. you know. <laughs> and you have water. And you have, and nature's going to make it happen. You know, so um, it's that simple. I mean, literally, that. so 18 inches of soil, and you see the size of that tree, and it's yeah. on top of concrete. But then why am I killing my lemon tree? Well, because we're trained to think like that. We're trained, do you see weeds coming up everywhere? Do you, no. you think elves come at night? And, and weed. And, and, <laughs> and weed and dance and listen to house music? You know what <laughs> yes, I'm saying? Yes, I do, Ron. I actually think that's what happens in the forest. No one's out there tilling soil. You know, it's gonna, mother, mother nature's gonna happen. You so you're it. saying it just sort of handles itself. There, do you think there, that we get too fussy? Mother Nature gonna win, period. So, I mean, all we're doing is is giving an assist. A nudge. Yeah, so I think people take it too too serious. People, oh, I made a mistake. There's no mistakes, there's only lessons. Gardening is a, it's a battle. You're in a battle with all kinds of insects that you've never seen in your life that's desecrating and disturbing and disrespecting your garden. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it disrespect, is, doesn't it? It, it is disrespect. <laughs> Ron is so savvy, he's trying to make the act of growing your own fruits, vegetables, and herbs in your own garden gangsta. He wants everybody from every neighborhood to get their hands dirty and have the experience of eating something that you have grown yourself. There's no feeling quite like that. You know, coming up in these days right now, I think all of us can...